Hello everyone, we'll be drawing a fan inlet and outlet flange before we get to the video. Make sure to subscribe and leave comments. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Go to layer. We'll be creating several layers. And the last layer we'll call the center. We'll change the color of this to yellow. And also change the line type to center. And that's our layers done. We'll be drawing the front view of the fan inlet first. Go to home, left click, go to layer, make layer center the current layer, select line and draw center lines. Go to layer, make the inlet layer the current layer, select circle, pick up the intersection point and draw all the diameters, diameter 570, diameter 540, go to the drawing. Check all the other diameter sizes. Circle. Diameter 304. Diameter 336. Diameter 354 as per the drawing. Go to the drawing check how many holes we have and the size of holes so we've got 12 holes down to 12 equally spaced select circle pick up the intersection point down to 12 and go to array polar array select the hole pick up the center and we need 12 holes and close the array and that's our holes done go to the drawing check the top holes so we've got 16 holes down to 12 equally spaced so I'll select circle pick up the intersection point that's down to 12 now go to array polar array select the hole Pick up the center and we need 16 holes and that's the 16 holes drawn. Now let's tidy up our center lines. So go to circle, pick up the intersection point here, draw the circle about here, select trim. Select the circle and trim all the center lines. And go to raise and erase the outer circle. Go to match properties, select the center line and change this circle and this circle in layer center. Go to the drawing. Now we'll be drawing the side view of the fan inlet. Go to line. Let's draw our center line. Start our first point about here and our second point about there.
go to line again select a point here and draw a vertical line about uh, about here now we'll be drawing half the side view so we'll project the point so we'll be using x line so type in xl for short select horizontal plane select all the points That's all our points projected across. Offset 136 as per the drawing. Offset 5 mil for the flange. Let's tidy up all these lines here now. Go to trim. Select all the lines. Trim. Trim this line here. We'll be using break command to sort out this center line. Erase all the unwanted lines. Offset uh, 45 as per the drawing. And offset 5 mil for the flange. extend select this line here and extend these two lines to the top uh, trim these lines here and we'll use break command to sort out the center line and do the same thing on here and Go to erase and get rid of the unwanted lines. Now we'll trim this line here. We need to sort out this corner. Go to fill it. Make sure the radius is zero. Select this line under the line and that's that done. Now we need to mirror the other side. So go to mirror, select everything, pick up the intersection point and our second point, enter and that's the other side done. Select match properties. Select the center line, move all the center lines in the correct layer. And that's all the lines in the correct layer now. Go to the drawing. We'll be drawing the outlet flange now. Go to layer, make outlet the current layer, Go, uh, select rectangle, pick uh, our first point and it's at 300, 250 as per the drawing. Now According to the drawing, we have a got 40 mil flange, so offset 40 mil for the flange, and uh, we need to offset 15 mil in for our holes. So offset 15 mil. Now we'll draw our holes, got circle, pick up the intersection point down to 12, 
will copy the soul will pick up a point anywhere on the screen and we have 175 as our first dimension and then we have to type in 350 for the other side and that's the holes done at the top so copy the top holes to the bottom pick up the intersection here and that's the bottom holes done and we have to copy the corner holes pick up the center to the middle of the flange and that's the holes done select the line and draw the center lines in and do the same thing for the other direction too now let's tidy up the center line so offset 40 select trim select the rectangle and trim all the center lines there and go to erase and erase this rectangle go to match properties select the center line and move all the center lines in the correct layer and that's the center lines done Now go to the drawing. We'll be drawing the side view, so the flange is five mil thick. So go to rectangle, pick up our first point about there, and at five mil thick. And the height of the flange is 330. Enter. And that's the side view completed. Draw the center line now. Pick our first point and our second point about here. And move the center line in the correct layer. Stay tuned with part three.